Like every day I gotta give myself a problem Got lots of pockets that don't solve them Try to keep it short but life is long man Ain't trying to cut no corners in my songs man Carry five way going my way Honey I could pave your driveway Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday Your life is broken time to fix it Don't worry this bag is made out of ballistic What's up y'all? This is the high of the five way from every man carries five different ways we're gonna walk you through all of them I have my favorite way of carrying this I think it's really good at one particular thing but I'm not, I'm not quite done with the rap is that okay can I do can I do a little more rap uh, uh. Huh. Review time, it's how I'm living, what I'm here for Work is easy, love is hard, make life a dance floor I'm raising kids, but you can't bring that shit you sheer force Life's a purpose, make a journey, buy my e-course Buy my e-course <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Welcome to another review This is the five way, every day How you doing? New president today What's up, I'm Chase Reeves. This bag is actually quite interesting to me. Something that I've used for a while. I, I test lots of different bags. They sent one of these out and I found myself using it a bunch in one particular way. I'm gonna show you that and all the features in a second. Before I do, shout out to my patrons for keeping things alive. There's some secret videos up on Patreon just for the patrons. And if you like this, subscribe also Today's episode bandwidth is provided by Magic Spoon. It's the high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grown ups. Comes in lots of different flavors. Fruity is probably my personal favorite. Frosted, I like too. It's got zero grams of sugar, three grams of net carbs, 11 grams of protein. Mm. It's actually made out of like a milk protein. It gets stuck in your teeth a little bit. You'll notice that, but the crunch is satisfying and the flavors are dope for this kind of like not all that bad for you then -ness, -ness, ness They call me cereal killer. I love cereal. <laughs> it's like ever since I was a little kid, it would be like, a, this is so bad. It was like a Diet Coke and a cereal in the morning. The cold bubbles of the Diet Coke, the crunch of the cereal with the milk. I just love cereal. So shout out to Magic Spoon. Thanks for supporting the channel and independent businesses like me. Okay, the hideout, five way, everyman.co. They've got a great sort of warranty thing. They say it's totally, you know, protected from workmanship errors and stuff like that, but not from general wear and tear. One of the things that I love so much about this thing is its ballistic nylon exterior. You have all these water sealed zippers, which to me, I'm like, you can keep it. I don't like the water sealed zips because I don't like the way they move, but it is a very protected bag from the elements. I love the ballistic nylon because I found myself just putting this in all sorts of dirt, grass, sometimes even mud, track and field, skate parks, things like that. And it just, it's like, there's not a lot of briefcases that are actually made with this kind of material, surprisingly, right? My favorite briefcase of all times has always been the Filson 24 hour. I'll link to that below. My favorite, if you want to spend the money, that thing is the best. Get a leather strap for it. Um, if you're not vegan, things like that. I just love it. Indiana Jones started a tech company. That's the vibe of that one. This comes in next, basically, as far as these kinds of briefs go. Now, we have backpack straps that are, to me, I don't like. I don't like these, and when I used this bag, I never used these. It's nice when you need them, though. They clip on with some G-hooks down here at the bottom. You just slide those away. They're nice and grippy in there. It's not too, it's not too, like, easy to get it in or out. To get it in. I'm doing something wrong. I don't even want to put it in. You know what I'm wanting to do? I want to get it out. That's what I want. I want to get this out because I want to put these away because I will almost with 100% certainty never use these again. Now, 
Um, but unfortunately, this little this little guy would be useful sometimes. But what I'm about to do is go into portrait mode on this bag, okay? So I'm zipping that little guy away with the straps. Now they are out of my way behind a water sealed zipper that I don't like the like ruffles have ridges sort of vibe of these particular zips. These have a kind of ruffles have ridges quality to them. Like you can see there's some, it's not, it's not my favorite, but the performance ends up being pretty good for keeping water off. So you've heard my opinion on that. Now, no strap and dangle, no little hook or loop or any, anything like that. You've got a couple of these accessory straps. There's a strap inside that I can do over the shoulder with, not my style, but that would be probably something that I would keep around in case I was using this a lot and moving around with it. Going hands-free is, sometimes it's, you, you, just, you just need that, especially when you're living life with kids and stuff. But look at this, a little quick access pocket. Ooh, it's kind of nice. There's like this velour, like velvety stuff inside. And oh, what do we got there? That's a nice looking handle. Little webbing, just kind of folded over. Simple, easy, minimal. Hideout, every man. Then there's another one on this side, another little quick access with the same velour, like fluffy, fuzzy stuff on the inside and another handle, okay? These are, these ended up feeling great. The handle comes out of them. So when you're in backpack mode, you can hide the handle. I ended up loving having two of these. Threw my mask and AirPods over here, would throw like a little notebook and a pen in this side. Um, maybe if you have a smaller laptop charger, it can fit right there. These handles feel great. They hold things together when I needed them to, right on. Perfect little size. Whenever I put the bag down, it tends to stand up, but that depends on how you have it packed out. These things do come out of quick access pockets that do have really nice velour-y type vibes. That's where, you know, a mask and my AirPods would go right there. Now. We're almost to how I carried this thing when I carried it. I used it for weeks because I, I had other bags to, to use, you guys, and I just kept using this. Why? Because it was so functionally effortless for me, okay? One reason why. This front pocket right here, you see this big zip that goes across? There's no organization inside. It's just darkness, right? It has a little bit of three-dimensional stitching going on right here. You can see where we have these edges that come up with some dimension built into this pocket here. That means this is nice and easy to get big bulky stuff out of. I'll tell you what goes in there. My tech pouch, just did a video on Patreon uh, walking you through my tech pouch. I will link to my specific one below and to the video. My Omni Charge, which I tend to take with me places because it can charge up my laptop for like an additional hour. It's big and it's heavy, but that's nice. So there's this big pocket that I have left open the entire time I used this bag. I just left it open. Why? Because everything on this bag for me is organized this way, except for one thing, which we'll get to in a moment. Felt like this, this uh, huge big pocket. Some people really dislike that. Get yourself a good pouch. My uh, boundary supply port kit fits perfectly in there. The Bellroy Tech kit. The Evergoods have a new pouch and I haven't seen that one yet. I've heard about it from some of y'all folks. I need to get in touch with those guys. Uh, grabbing a tech pouch that can fit in there. The Bellroy Tech kit, one of my personal favorites, would fit perfectly in here. The Peak Designs would not, right? This boundary port kit is perfect size to fit right in there. This is only half of it, but it comes apart, right? Now, this is designed to do this big clamshell. Oh, and here's your little strap that goes on. Again, not high quality strap. I do not like their shoulder straps or the, like for the backpack or this. I feel like every man we could, we can increase this. Call your boy. <laughs> Call me. I got some ideas. Clips on with some G-hooks. They're fine. In here, you've got these uh, packing cubes that like Velcro on with that nice kind of hook and loop thing. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. What's great about this is, I mean, this is 
designed to be a bit of a of a minimal travel bag. All of these things, they just come right out. Get them out of here. Get them, get them out of here. In here, you've got that nice, it's again, it's, it's like a hook and loop, but it, it feels nice. Some of you guns and ammo guys are sitting out there going like, yeah, man, I know just what to do with that. Accessory loops right here and here all over the place. Kind of a, uh, like I'd say it's about an inch and a half depth, this pocket. And the zipper goes all the way down, okay? So for me, another thing that I just leave upright like this, another pocket, a pouch, business papers, man, maybe throw in a manila envelope. What are you doing, work? Probably have some manila envelopes, right? Put that right in there. Inside, it's just darkness, but this is how I like it. I like this. It ends up feeling really nice to use because I'm constantly picking up my bag, moving it to different places around the house, throwing it into the car next to me, picking it up, going into the tea house, like putting it by my chair. Like I don't need to do all the work of closing all this up. I find myself just like tossing things straight into it and then reach, looking down and being able to find it. Now I might be like, missing the boat for you here. You might be like super interested in all the pockets and things like that. Um, but I think this thing really shines just being left open like this. But wait, there's more. This back pouch pocket as well, clamshell, all right? And here, everything is oriented the wrong way. <laughs> everything is going this way. Everything wants me to use those backpack straps that were up here. It's what this bag seems to be designed for. And I'm like, bruh, design it for this. This is where this thing shines. They have another backpack, the Everyman Hideout backpack, which is solid and interesting. This is an interesting looking bag on people, I'm sure, because it's got that blocky, boxy kind of thing. I'm not in love with the backpack quality of it. This thing really shines as a messenger. So for me, I didn't use any of this, any. I left these zippers like this and like this, and I would just put my computer right into this pocket, just like that. No sleeve, no nothing. Computer and tablet would go right in here. I don't complain, I'm not worried about it because there's actually plenty of protection. I don't need all that organization. Bummer is that this organization is actually pretty dope. This is using a, a wool type felt thing. You've got some pockets for dongles, maybe a little pen bit little business papers, man, and a zippered compartment that goes all the way down. Secret business papers, man. And then tablet and computer, okay? I love this material. But for me, I absolutely loved using the bag like this. So much so that I'm like, you can keep the organization, you can keep the wool and the felt. I partly wish that there was I do partly wish that this was just designed for this. Now, I'm sure there are a swath of people out there who really prefer to use this as a backpack, you know? Hands-free carry for me is typically what I end up doing anyways. I love that, but I wouldn't use this for that personally. I would easily and in a heartbeat use this like this if you're looking for more of a briefcase-y ballistic Right, it's not too fancy. The Filson can feel a little like, I don't know, I'm not schlepping artifacts over, you know, international boundaries. I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I, if I qualify for a Filson bag. Sometimes those Filson bags feel a little heavy duty, right? This ballistic feels a little more like, yeah, I just want to start a tech company. I'm not actually doing it. And like I said, that performance of this material on dirt, outdoor stuff, get outside with your computer, you guys. Get outside with your notebook, make notes. Get outside with your work stuff. This is a killer office bag, house bag, going different areas in the house, moving around, right? Like I said, it'll stand up depending on what you have in it. Okay, right now I've just got this stuff in the front, so we got no standing, right? But take that out, and here we are. When I had my laptop, notebooks, and that stuff, it tended to, to stand just fine. Um, Materials-wise, I've mentioned this ballistic nylon. I dislike the, uh, the zippers, but I'm almost never closing them. The zipper pulls feel uh, sort of clunky to me they, they're like I think they're a, they're a leather they may be a faux leather but again I never really closed them you know 
I just left it all like this. So this to me is a, uh, a killer, killer option for any of you looking for that work type bag. These little quick access pockets, can I just speak at you one minute more of, on this? Great bag, great bag. Dig it, wanna say what's up to every man. Thanks for this, thanks for sending this out. They sent over like a handful and then uh, we like I, I didn't hear back from them. I put all my stuff in storage. Then they were like, yeah, let's do a video. And then I'm like, Send me, send me another one. And they're totally cool. They actually sent me this. Uh, I asked for the shirt too. Every day. I'm digging that. Got it in a large so I can wash it and wear it on my fat days. They also sent a couple pens. These pens feel quite nice. Thank you, every man. They're making interesting stuff. They make some, some interesting stuff. Their hideout bag I did back in the day. Their bags are a little bit like this one to me is, you know, every man, call me. Give me a buzz. Shout at your boy, because I think there's some room for improvement. And yet, I'm talking to you about this bag because I talked to, I'm like, let me review this son bitch. Because this is, this is like, I really dug using it. I even put like, I could fit my Canon EOS R, I just threw it in here with the, took the little road mic off of there, threw that in here. Like, this ended up working great. I got nothing else to say to you on that. How are you? What's going on? I am in a uh, new studio. Can you tell? This is like a temporary Airbnb that we're staying in out in the southeast of the United States. We're exploring new places to live. We're back on the road. Took my family all the way across the country from San Diego to North Carolina. So uh, America's out here. And uh, in about 25 minutes, we're going to have a new president inaugurated. So I'm sure that I'm sure everything's gonna be I'm sure everything's gonna be better then, right? Trying to think if there's anything else I should holler at you about. I think I'll leave it there. I got a new favorite pair of barefoot shoes. I'll be showing in a little bit. Subscribe to the channel for more on that. Also, going to be launching something right away. Uh, and I really am excited to show you that. Subscribe here for that. And we're about to pass 100,000 subscribers on this channel. That means we're about to do a huge giveaway. So what you have to do to enter the giveaway is go to matterful.co and subscribe. Subscribe via the email there. That's how you are going to be entered to win the giveaway stuff. We're giving away, oh, I think, tens of thousands of dollars worth of gear. I'm gonna talk to every man. I would love to give away a few of these. We're gonna talk to Bellroy, Pact, Wandered, Knack, like all my favorites. I doubt Go Ruck will get involved, but they're one of my favorites too. Uh, who else? Fanny packs, backpacks, travel bags, uh, maybe even some shoes. We'll see if we can get that involved. But stoked to get all of these partners involved in doing a giveaway because I'm thrilled to get close to 100,000 subscribers. So this is exciting for me. So exciting, I took my family across the country. <laughs> Bing. Okay, more from me coming up soon. I will leave it there for now. Be yourself, make good choices, and holler at your boy. Bye-bye. Buy my e-course. Buy my e-course. <laughs>